Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this week episode I would like to show you how you can change the headlights of a Ford K 2010. It's a very easy 5 minutes job if you know how. But uh, firstly when I start to change the first bulb light uh, on this car um, I try to fit my hands over here but it's barely impossible. Then I decide to take the headlights out. And also I found a problem that uh, it's not very complicated but it has three screws and one of them is hiding somewhere behind so you have to fit your hands and unscrew the third one. I'll make a picture for you to see uh, what is about. For this you need a H4 light and I'll proceed by unscrew this one and this one for this you need a um, embus key which is t uh, T10. I'll also make a picture to show it to you. And uh, nothing complicated, as I said. I will start by remove this screw first. This one on top being the second one. This is how it looks, this is for down, this is for up. And now I will uh, unscrew the third one and that will be a little bit more complicated because I have to fit my hand under and unscrew it. Not so easy as, as I thought because on the other, on the right side, you have more space, but here you have the um, uh, storage tank for um, washing the, um, the windshield, so it's more complicated as I thought. So this is the third one. A little bit complicated, as you can see, I'm full of oil and dirt. And now all, all the things you have to do, you have to take it out, take this socket out like this, and then you have the whole headlight out. So. Now, to show you a little bit closer, here is the screw that you have to unscrew it and imagine that you have to fit your hand somehow through here with the key and trying to unscrew it, okay, which is a bit complicated. Another very important aspect is try to do this with a cold engine or if not, this is not possible. Um, try to protect this with a cotton fiber or something that is not inflammable because when the engine have 90 degrees this is the oil filter and when the engine have 90 degrees that will burn you so I'm a little bit burned and uh, it's a good tip for you okay. 
Now to change it you have only to remove this cap over here. Then you take this out. This have to be up. This little thing have to be up. Remove it by pulling. Put it back. And that's it. Everything. You put the cap back. Then you put the socket and you have to unscrew it, everything back. Okay, now I have to fit the socket, which is just plug in. You might hear a click when this is happening. You take a look here deep where the screw can should be. Then you fit everything back. Like this, on position. You take the third screw. Firstly, you will screw it at hand as much you can. good if you remove a little bit the headlights and you see where you put the screw and then screw it by hand as much you can and then using the key Okay, then the one up, And basically this is everything very important to have this kind of tool i buy it uh, from lidl as a full set you can see it over there it was less than 20 euro but it's very handy and very helpful now i will start the engine and i will see if uh, the bulb lights it's really working or not because on the dashboard it wasn't indicated that uh, a light it was broken
this is it for today guys uh, everything is working perfectly it was looking a little bit more than i was expecting because of that screw that is hidden but for you it should be a little bit much easier with the tips that i give it to you i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, you find it helpful if you uh, find it helpful don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up and stay tuned until next week when i will present you a more interesting video i have two projects ongoing uh, the house and as well Deodamas. also i will concentrate a little bit of uh, some future lesson about fiberglass thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe bye bye